everybody and welcome to my new video today with the Pathfinder and the Weber weapons. Um, those have 800 meter range and close to 30,000 damage each. I use two times the nuclear amplifier in it and uh, one time the repair amplifier. Unstable conduit you can use, uh, but there are other chances here too. You can use the um, yeah, repair unit or advanced repair unit or maybe if you want the phase shift. Uh, that works very well with um, yeah, this robot too, if you don't even want to give uh, 200 power cells for each click for this robot. So we are going to the Pascal drone. This one worked the best for me with this setup. Here you have, uh, when you destroy a robot, 7% uh, more damage output and you can stack this five times. So this means here 35% more damage output with those weapons, then you can count for yourself damage bonus for every robot you destroy 20% and you can stack this six times. So this mean 120, we are here on 155 damage more uh, percent only uh, with the drone and the robot. And then here uh, with John Orsted, you have um, the shield breaker ability too, what is great when you use the ability. And um, yeah, with the nuclear amplifier, you know it, um, you will bring uh, this robot to a decent damage output and this I want to show you now here before we start it would be great please leave a like don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell okay we all know the Pathfinder the new robot here in the war robot universe for me a great support robot so at all let's go and let's try here to do some damage and destroy some robots the combination here and um, yeah, increase our damage output with um, yeah, the drone with the robot and the nuclear amplifier let's go here we go boom um, he's getting some damage and they stopped me here in a good way but look at its damage uh, at its um, HP here we got them close down um, one more time that wasn't lucky here for me I uh, destroyed the shield but then look at this one more time but a lot of firepower is against me. In the first seconds, you need to play this one here clever and decent. But we got uh, first our first robot down. This means that we increase our damage here. Um, and you can see this three times at all. The drone, the robot itself, and so on. Let's bring this up here. Okay, five times. So you double this each destroyed robot because of the drone and the ability of the robot and we are going faster and faster look at this guy in the air and uh, he can't see what is joining him let's go using the ability and boom immediately we triple this one and uh, we have now seven times more damage output here for us what is insane in my mind and the enemy don't even see where is the damage coming from. Those old weapons work so, so great um, on this robot. I got the tip from a subscriber here in the live stream. Try this setup out. And at first I thought, okay, hmm, let's see how good it is. But we are going here to godlike. Eight times more damage output, as you can see with this build here. Now on the left side, you can see this. And um, yeah, because of the two uh, yeah, time nuclear amplifier, um, the amplifier is loading up so, so fast uh, so that you can be <laughs> here after two minutes and uh, 10 seconds to beyond godlike with this build. I really, really like it. So for me, I will try to get this for my real account too, because on long range maps here, it can be so, so wonderful and helpful. Let's go. Let's get this guy here in the air. Look, we got this one so fast down that was insane. Okay, we can go forward here now a little bit, holding the left side. Um, the beacon is blue. Uh, this build is made for um, giving massive support to your teammates because with the ability, you know it um, from the Pathfinder, your uh, teammates, when they um, support you, will get damage increase and speed increase too for the whole map, uh, for the whole match. And this is insane too, I think. Okay, we can hold the left side. So I decided here in this case, let's try to go a little bit forward because they fear me here now. But um, this guy got me and here is the first Titan joining us. Boom, uh, so no chance at all. So let's go a little bit backwards because he will do a lot of damage, but we broke his shield in front as you can see. And um, boom, 
this was a great damage output and this was before the nuclear amplifier was um, rebalanced here this match um, I think it will be now more stronger against Titan as you know um, okay another um, try here from the Rook um, to um, yeah go to our home base and um, let's see what we can do a lot of cover here in this map uh, so uh, not for this map this um, robot or these weapons are made for but look at this here now we have Arthur we yeah stole the uh, yeah 50 percent of its HP here only with one shot and it was loaded up 10 percent or 10 times more damage output as you can see now on the left side increase everything here okay so let's go let's try one more time and then I saw another Titan you saw this in front of this video here. Boom! And look at this. The Titan only have 25 to 30 percent of its HP now. This is definitely very dangerous um, for this build here. And um, yeah, he was behind cover. This was the luck of this guy here. Um, otherwise, we can get him down with one shot here. So let's try to get this ball down here. Stop him and then boom, do the damage bypass and let's go we got him down and so my teammate can recapture this beacon here one more time so then i noticed okay the match is near over enemy teams are only here three this one destroyed itself and uh yeah this like i said this damage output with those weapons worked so so well let's do some damage to this guy but my teammate was uh, faster than me here okay let's see what we can do and how much damage we did here in this uh, fast match only five minutes and 20 uh, or 15 seconds here and um, let's see on which place we are here and um, hopefully we did well so 4.4 million damage eight destroyed robots and we are on place one here let me check the stats and yeah the others here the same and yeah like i said the damage output was so insane so let's go immediately into another match here. I want to show you one more time the gameplay. Like I said, sometimes it can be very, very tricky because if the enemy team notice you as a sniper, they are trying to get you uh, yeah, first down uh, and then the others. Um, so I decided here to stay a little bit back and help my teammates from behind waiting and boom, trying to do a lot of damage to this guy. But um, this damage didn't count here, as you saw. So um, let's go forward and try to help my teammates here capturing beacons too so one more time let me know what do you think about this build um like like i said i wanted to try to get for myself um this weber weapons for this robot because they work in combination with all this here very well look at this damage we did here to this guy uh he was lucky here now and i waited for this guy and then boom let's do the damage we did in another another assist and um yeah wait for him and now we can do the damage and we triple kill him and we um do seven time more damage output here as you can see on the left side one more time this map is made for um yeah this weapons here in my mind let's try to get them and this was a curry ladies and gentlemen and we destroyed him immediately the 800 meter range are so insane to have here with this robot as you can see um yeah the ability works only on 600 meter range but uh sometimes yeah like i said when you have then shield breaker for example um on your model use then it can be powerful too one more time wait for him here shield breaker works here one more time and we did some damage let's see how much damage we did and it was a good amount of damage let's go okay 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 now they want me this is what i wanted to tell you <laughs> this is sometimes very crazy but i'm still alive um you can use this if you are skilled as a short range build up too as you can see the damage output uh, will be great then um let's go and yeah we got him the damage output one more time was crazy and very good this guy want me here now and uh, try to destroy me but let's see what we can do my teammate helps me here in a good way uh, with the typhoon and i'm out of danger and we can go again forward here to try to change or to win this game okay 
here we go a titan boom and we got the titan slayer immediately we have now all the titans out let me try to do some damage here to the enemy wow one more time against this Kepri. look at this how much damage we did shield breaker boom and yeah 50 percent of its hp was gone here so fast with the help of my teammate here too okay one more time going to this fenrir build here let's try to get him down but we all know um yeah the fenrir is a damage it's not a damage it is yeah it is a damage monster and it is definitely a hp monster so fenrir is tricky to get down but we got another assist here we go and here's the fenrir boom and we triple destroyed one more time so yeah boom <laughs> okay that was close i thought i can get him but now let's try to go for one newton and let's do some damage boom the damage output was good but um yeah not every weapon uh, hit the target here in this case so thank you everyone for watching and hopefully i can show you another great build in my mind yeah let me know what do you think about it in the comments and hopefully you will have a wonderful weekend we will see us all soon bye bye and aloha Touch.